Shields up, Ironbreakers. How's everybody doing? Today, we're back in Elite Dangerous. And I'm going to do something that's real dumb. And I've been accused of doing some real dumb shit. Like yesterday when I rammed into a Corvette. You need to understand. You need to understand something. And that is... I'm kind of like Han Solo. Never tell me the odds. Pretty much how it works. So I will ram into an Imperial Corvette with a friggin' assault ship. I don't give a damn. I don't give a damn about the consequences. And today, I'm gonna be doing something that's maybe not as stupid. Well, then again, maybe it is. Maybe it's even more stupid. I don't know. But basically, the whole idea here is uh, I got some stuff that I want to do on my clipper. I'm changing it around. I want to try uh, a different combat setup because I'm tired of the the old lasers and multi-cannons so i actually want to try lasers and regular cannons but i was also doing some light engineering on some of the systems and stuff so we're probably not going to be seeing a whole lot of combat today because i still have to make the jump to back to my rope to pick up some of my stuff but i also wanted to replace my plating because um back when i was doing thargoid hunting with my friends what i ended up doing is i bought reactive plating now this is it was kind of a spur of the moment thing, so I just bought it off of the first station that was available near me. And so today I came back because, for those of you who don't know, if you buy stuff on Leong Rui, who, um, who's basically someone who has a 15% discount all times, basically this reactive surface composite doesn't look like I can... Well, I can show you the price here. This reactive surface composite actually cost me 52 million on the other station, whereas here is at 44, which also reduces a little bit on your insurance cost, I think. But regardless of that, I just wanted to swap that out, basically make eight, made 8 millions out of thin air because I bought the cheaper version of that. So I sold that back at another station that I came here, bought this one. Um, but now I need to like unlock a couple of things with some engineers and stuff and what happened to me earlier was I was playing in my clipper and I got stuck. I got stuck in a, uh, what do you call it? It's not a white, I don't think it's called a white dwarf, but it's one of the neutron stars that's close to the bubble. Yeah, I got stuck in there. It was not nice. I thought I was going to die, but I made it out. Barely. I barely made it out. And I was like, huh. My ship's temperature is at 350. Amazingly enough, I'm still alive. So, if I can overheat my ship up to 350 and survive, can I jump without waiting to clear stars? Can I do that? I think that'd be fun. Don't you guys think that'd be fun? That would make jumping such a more pleasant experience. And then I thought, well, I could probably damage a couple of my modules if I do that. But probably what I should do is I should turn off any unessential modules and I should have an auto field maintenance unit just in case something goes terribly wrong. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to leave the power... Do I need the power distributor? If I'm in... If I'm in Super Cruise, do I need power distributor? I don't know if I do. We're not making a jump, by the way. I'm just charging up into Super Cruise. Well, let's find out if we need it or not. I don't. In Super Cruise, I don't need my power distributor. Okay. What else do we not need? We definitely need a fuel scoop, because we need a scoop up as we go into the stars. We probably need life support. I kind of think that's an, uh, an important thing. We don't need cargo hatch. We don't need our weapons. I'm taking two cannons with me. Uh, we don't need our sensors. I need my canopy. I need my power plant, too. I need my cargo rack. Oh, I can't turn that off. I need my advanced... Well, interesting. I actually can't turn off the advanced discovery scanner. Can I turn off the data link scanner? No. Okay. So basically what I'm trying to do is reduce as much power as possible. So that our ship heats up as least as possible. So we're going to be running around with no shield. No power distributor. Which means we can't boost. So let's hope we don't mess up these jumps, shall we? Let's hope things go okay for us. Maybe they won't. They probably won't. It's going to be completely insane what I'm about to do. But hey, 
Maybe it works out in the end. Maybe others will follow in my wake. Maybe not. Either way, let's do this. Wait, why am I jumping here? No, 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 we're not going to Merope yet. This is, this is wrong. Uh, I need to figure out where I'm going first. So we're going to Liz Rider. Liz Rider's first on our list because I need to level her up to like three and a half because she's going to introduce me to another engineer who then in turn is going to introduce me to another engineer. Uh, and that other engineer is going to be Brew Tarkin. And I need Brew Tarkin. So that's pretty important. Either way, let's charge up our frameshift drive and let's see if I can get myself killed. Which is probably what a lot of you guys are expecting out here in the live stream. But I'm gonna kill myself. So let's see what happens. Let's see if I can blow my ship up or not. Basically, the idea here is as soon as the frameshift cooldown is done, do it again. And do it again. And do it again. If ship blows up, Ship blows up. Too fucking bad. Be like this. There's another planet right there. I'm gonna circle around this as fast as we possibly can. Frame shift cooldown's about to come off. Boom. Instantly. Go. Again. 79, 82, 87, 89, 94, 96. Oh! First jump. Not too bad. Not too bad. This might actually work out. Just remember, turn on your shields and your distributor before you land on your destination. Because this is actually going to be our destination. We're coming up on Eurabia, so this was just the first test jump. From here, we're going to go to Todd Blaster and McQuinn, because I need to engineer my cannons just a little bit. Uh, even though it's not going to be amazing, but I need to do it anyway. So let's point our ship towards the general direction of where we're headed, turn on our shields, and the power distributor. We're going to Demolition Unlimited. Okay. So let's see. Uh, we need... Generator? Power distributor. There we go. We now have pips. Put all pips in the systems. Get our shields back up because we're going to have to land on a planet. Shields? Low shields? There we go. <laughs> I was like, shields? Where's my shields? I need shields. Uh, from here, we're going to be heading off. I think Todd McQuinn's going to be like 160 light years or something. So that's going to be more interesting. It's going to be a more interesting jump. More interesting set of jumps, even. One might say. Go down. Probably gonna have to circle around the planet for some reason. I always end up doing correctional on my target approaches every single time because I, I guess it's because I'm a very impatient pilot. Very impatient pilot. But to be honest, I kind of feel like even doing this, it's always faster than slowing down. Doing the correctional loop always seems to be faster for me. back up. We're getting close to the planet's sphere of influence. Hopefully there's not too many Gs on this planet. 0.3. 0.3 is pretty good. 0.3 is alright. Earlier I actually had to fight on a planet that was like two Gs. And fighting on that, good god, that was a pain in the ass. That was a complete pain in the ass. Orbital flight engage. Down on Demolition Unlimited. Looks like a perfect textbook planetary approach. Going a little bit too hot. Let's slow it down a little bit. That's it. Ease into it. We want to ease into the planet. You go too fast, you're just gonna blow it. You're gonna get stuck. Frame shift drive's gonna be on cooldown. Not good times. Big ass planet we got here. Bill didn't make it. Gonna push her up a little bit more. Come on. 
There we go. We're coming in. Drop from Rebel Cruise. Go all out. A little bit on the dark side of the planet. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Now, I would very much like to get a couple of armor mods, even though her armor mods are not amazing, but I might as well uh, lower the lower the mass on my armor while I'm here, because I still don't have the proper engineer to do mass lowering on armor, but, you know, reactive plating kind of heavy, particularly on a clipper. Anything I can do to improve on that. Oh, shoot. Turns out, sensors are also pretty important. Don't forget to turn on your sensors. Too. <laughs> hey, it's the first time I'm trying to do something dumb like this. Well, not something authorized. dumb, just you this may proceed particular to landing pad zero five. Glove. Okay. Actually, the G's increased a little bit there, but twice. 0.64. Well, 0.64 is still pretty acceptable. Engineers workshops. Okay. Why don't you tweak me armor? Give us the lightweight. Hopefully, it won't screw us over too much. What, what is this using? Iron? Oh, I got plenty of iron. Not to mention, you can get this fairly easy by just mining. You cost generate, generate. That was kind of weak. Still, that'll give her. A, ooh, nice, a little bit boost in kinetic resistance there. Oh, good. Give us, give it us. Why don't you give it us? Give us some more. See if we can get her to do even more than that. Ooh, we are losing a whole boot. We're also losing quite a bit of mass. And again, whole boost lost is not that much. As I mentioned, we're boosting through with that kinetic resistance. I'll apply that. Thank you very much. Now, these modifications aren't really leveling her up as much as I'd like, so let's go to outfitting by ourselves. Some rocket launchers and upgrade rocket launchers, hopefully using parts that we're not going to need for cannons and or lasers, depending on the upgrades that we do. But to be honest, whatever I end up upgrading on these rocket launchers is not going to be particularly important. Just trying to level her up, up to that 3.5, to the point where she's going to introduce me to the next engineer. Uh, it's a little bit frustrating how some of this engineering stuff works, so give, give us... Uh, does it really matter? I, don't really, I never really, really use torpedoes. There, I'll upgrade this torpedo. Whatever. What can we even do on torpedoes? This is a small ass thing. Fire the photon torpedoes! I believe that these are actually real powerful, but I just care about them. We're not even going to restock. It's a complete waste of money. I'm going to sell that thing as soon as I'm done here. Okay, torpedo pilot, lightweight mounts, salvaged alloys, and manganese. This is actually it. We don't want to spend nickel, because I need that. Oh, it's only lightweight mount and sturdy mount. Okay, well, that makes it simple. Here you go. New cost and generate. Generate. Loikoi, give a damn. Making them torpedoes lighter for no reason. Seems like a complete waste of time. It's all good, though. It's all good. Uh, I can actually skip these. Can't, can't I skip this? Yeah. Ooh, I got penetrator payload. Deep cut munitions get a T to penetrate upon impact with hull and are capable of damaging multiple internal modules. Wow. Interesting that whenever I don't care about something, she's like, oh, here, have like, was possible. 
possibly sounds like one of the best possible mods you could get on that fucking thing. Penetrator payload. Fuck it. Why not? But basically the whole point here is that it's really hard to get stuff like that to proc. Like to give you guys an idea. It's not easy. Okay, I wanted this card because I don't care. We're currently grade 3. We're almost there. Can I do <clears throat> grade 3 lightweight mounts? Conductive ceramics. I think I, me I need those. But I have 21, so this will make it go faster. So it's like... Whatever, bro. Do it. I gotta give a damn. See, there we go. You can apply that. I really don't care. Uh, did we get invitation from Heratani? This is exactly what we wanted. Perfect. Now that we have that, I can get rid of these. Outfitting. Because <clears throat> I don't actually need anything else from her, so I'm just gonna sell this stuff. I don't care about these. Sort of no pile on. Probably never gonna need. Bye bye. Now that we've done that, we're gonna go see Todd Blaster McQuinn. Uh, also, I gotta figure out where Heratani is and what she wants. Good God, there's so many of these engineer dudes. Okay, so we got Todd Blaster McQuinn. He's at 136 light years away. Thank God. Build your name with Kamitra Cigars. Oh God, this is gonna be one of those rare things. I hate these rare things. I hate rare commodities. They're so annoying. We're at grade 3 access with Todd Blaster, which is fine. I've actually had grade 5 access on him. I'd probably chart favor to do some multi-cannon bullshit. It uh, doesn't matter. This is going to be interesting because now we're going to have to, we're gonna have to do like 136. That's going to be like five, four, about 5 or 6 jumps that we're going to have to do. Probably even 7. Uh, we're going to have to do like 7 jumps to get there. And these, these are definitely going to overcharge the crap out of our ship. Very curious to see whether or not we'll even make it, because we might just not even make it. Arc forced stroke camp. Go. How many jumps is it? Would you look at that? It's actually five jumps? What? Wow, we're actually we're jumping twenty-eight. We're jumping twenty-eight with reactive armor. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Anyway, what we got to do now is you guys are going to turn these things off. All of them. So, we don't need sensors. Put in the cargo rack. Oh, actually, I can't turn off. Getting. Uh, we can't turn off the power distributor. Turn it off as soon as we come off of this next jump. <clears throat> we can, however, turn off shields. Now we can turn off power distributor off right now as well. Shields, fuel scoop, thrusters. We'll need to keep the thrusters. Uh, everything else can be turned off. Looks like we're good. We're ready to jump. Here we go. Overheating jumps yet again. I mean, we're overheating right now just on the friggin' planet's surface. Of all the drag. All the drag, man. All the drag. Why am I over here today? I really. Is this planet surface that hard? It's probably because we turned off the shields and shields is not protecting us from drag. But in the vacuum of space, you don't need that stuff. Ooh, and we got a tricky jump star right away. We're gonna die right now. That's it. Ooh, I hate you! Fucking dirty star! Dirty stars! These stars are so dangerous. Why can't I see? God, I can't see that. Do I need to supercharge my FSD to do this next jump? I do. Okay, I need to move away from it in order to do a proper jump here because these stars are tricky. Particularly this one because, like, the cones. 
The glow on the star actually makes it hard for me to see the cones. Where are those fucking... I need to at least see the fucking exclusions. Pick me over here. I'm going to run into this star and die, aren't I? That's just going to be a thing. Where's the exclusion zone? Oh, okay, I see the cone. Oh, fuck! Did you see that exclusion zone right there? That was like death. We would have been... Dude, what is wrong with the exclusion zone on this star? Dude, this is a fucked up star. This is a real fucked up star. Am I even gonna be able to... I can't do it. I can't scoop from this when the exclusion zone's too big. We're gonna ram into it and we're gonna die. Warning, oh, okay. Operating beyond safety limits. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy. Good girl. Get me out of here. Get me out of here, Priscilla. I believe in you. Oh shoot. Right in the path of the star. We wanna get some distance before we line up. I hate that blue glow. Goddamn blue glow needs to stop. Should be pretty far away. Oh, I'm pointing towards it. Idiot. I didn't even notice I had the star selected. <laughs> okay, here we go. Time to overcharge this ship. Not overcharge, overheat it. It's time to get them overheating jumps. I didn't see the star path I was jumping into. Thumbnail. Next jump right there. Scoop up. Can we scoop up? Frame shift drive and cooldown. Frame shift drive and charging. Look at that scooping power. That's what I'm talking about. No, I need to scoop more. I need to scoop more. There we go. <laughs> 131, 133. It's all good. It's all good. Heat level's critical. Psh, whatever. Whatever, bro. Keep it coming. We even scooped up the full. We're using a 7C fuel scoop, by the way. That's how we're scooping up so fast. Heat levels crit critical. We're fine. We're fine. This is perfectly fine. Don't worry about it. Just gonna scoop up a little bit more. Cooldown's about to come up. Come on, cooldown. There we go. Charge it up yet again. Boom, 99, 104, 106, 108, 111, 113. Boom, boom, boom. I'm just trying to get these jumps to be as fast and as efficient as possible. Overheating be damned. So basically, we're jumping at the cooldown of the frame shift. Still not heating up as much as I would expect, to be completely honest. I figured we'd actually say, oh, crap, we got another one of them jump stars. Don't, don't dick me over on the friggin' cones this time, please. His last star really did this over on the cones. Okay, this one's got... Ooh, this one's got some proper cones. Should be it. Cool. Really need to work on the exclusion zone. Sucker. I'm so gonna get killed on some of these stars while I'm exploring. It's gonna be insane. I then die on my first big trip. But since then, I have lost the ship to my own star. Warning. Great ship drive operating. Onwards we go. I'm 
many jumps are we? Wow, we're one jump away. That is actually a really efficient way of jumping. I'm not sure if people do this. Usually whenever I see stream stuff, I see people jumping regularly with full shields on and stuff. And again, I'm not sure if actually the activating the shield is helping me all that much. It's just by logic, you know, technically speaking, turning off shields should lower the heat emissions on, on your ship. Particularly when, whenever you do silent running, you also turn off your shields, so there's that. Let's just coop up a little bit before we go talk with Todd Blaster McQuinn. Todd McBlasts! McBlast! Kinda sucks that I can only do grade 2 upgrades, because again, I'm still working on unlocking some of my engineers. But it's okay, we're gonna have plenty of jumps to make sure that this thing can go terribly wrong. So we're not gonna go get the rares for the engineer that I just unlocked. But we are going to be headed to Merope after this, which is going to give us plenty of time to blow up our ship. <clears throat> and I'm still not sure whether or not cannons are going to be everything I want them to be. But basically the point here is I'm tired of multi-cannons. Uh, at the same time, I'm also tired of pulse lasers, but pulse lasers are so efficient. I already have them fully decked out. I was trying to run... Um, I was trying to run plasma accelerators on the lower hard points for this ship, and that didn't work out too well. They're still too far apart to actually make work, in my opinion. Okay, modules. We're gonna need shield generator, power distributor, and sensor. I wonder if you would actually take hull damage dropping into a planet with no kind of makes sense if you would looks like we are going to overtake it maybe potentially maybe not maybe not maybe not maybe I boy can fix it don't you worry boy can fix it oh god we're going too fast we're going too fast it's too much nope we're good maybe a little bit faster well, in fact, no, I, th I think this is good. I think this is good. You gotta be careful. You just gotta see how fast stuff's coming at you and make sure it's not coming at you too fast. So that upon exiting orbital cruise, you don't destroy your ship. Arr, matey. I'm probably gonna have to call in a couple of favors from Todd to get these cannons to be explosives, because I like explosive cannons. See, that's a fun thing to me. Blowing up cannons is good times. Her main thrusters are fantastic, like the lateral thrusters, the vertical thrusters. So does something that pisses me off a lot about this ship is her lateral and vertical thrusters leave a lot to be desired. Wow, why are we hostile? Why does nobody like Denton Patrius? Denton Patrius is a nice guy, okay? Stop being so cynical. Denton Patrius is an okay guy. You don't have to, like, be upset at him full time. Okay, we're gonna take overcharged. Overcharged weapon, because we want that dapes. We want that dapes. I don't like the jitter. I don't like the jitter. God damn it. Jitter is gonna make me miss. I freaking hate jitter. We got like 20 rolls on this, so we need something good. I have a whole lot of them rolls. If you, like, as it is right now, if you just give me high yield shells I'll be happy but he's not gonna give it to us is he 
Ooh, you bitch. Eat you. Let's do that again. What level are you right now? If you were level three, I'd be happy. Thank you. Are ya? Are ya? Wait a minute, what the fuck is going on? Overcharged. Ooh, you brick bastard. I will shoot up your whole damn base for what you're doing to me. Oh! Never mind what I just said. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, now we're talking. Now give me something good. Come on, come on, come on. Give me I yield munitions. You know you want to give it to me. Oh. It's okay. I'm calling in a favor, though. I'm calling in a favor. I'm calling in a favor. You're going to give me that high yield shell. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you very much. Now, we are going to have to do tier one upgrades. And uh, suck. Can I do something else? Can I not do overcharge here? Can I do something that doesn't use nickel? Yeah, mechanical scrap. We can. I can do mechanical scrap. Until we get to tier two, then we can go back doing the other ones. This is probably a bad idea. Overcharging cannons. Actually, why am I even doing this? Sure, apply it. I feel like we actually lost damage with it. Fire outcome. Generate, generate. Boom. That sucked. Right? Didn't even. Fire, do it again. Auto loader. Ah, why not? How are we? We're at grade two? Good. And. No, oh, no, 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 no. Don't even touch that one. Don't, don't fucking touch that one. We're only gonna go for the bottom one. Overcharged weapon. Preview outcome. View cost. Generate. Generate this sucker. That was bad. That was real bad. But I'm still gonna use it. But I need you to do better, Todd. Todd, you gotta not let me down here, brother. You gotta not let me down. Cost generate, generate that sucker. This is all right. It's still not amazing. I'll still use it. Todd, you can do better than this. I believe in you. I believe in you, Todd. You have what it takes. Wait, what the fuck is going on here? Why is it sometimes it just like not giving me the right thing? You just stop fucking around here, Todd. What am I paying you for? Do right by me. I'm gonna have to shoot up your whole damn base. That what needs to happen here. You're gonna make me shoot off your base. That's what you're doing here. You gotta do better than this, man. I believe in you, Todd. Chat believes in you. We all believe in you. There you go. That's how you excel, Todd. Yes. Exactly. Armor piercing. See, Todd, now you're getting it. Don't worry about the thermal load. This thing does not do thermal at all. Now give us something blue. Okay, don't give us something blue. You know what that means? It means I'm going to call in a favor. You're going to give me high you sucker. It's you. Atta boy, Todd. Atta boy. <laughs> Todd's been... <laughs> he's been grade five and now he's back to grade one. <laughs> yeah, Todd. You're all right. You're all right. Good old Todd. Now... It's time to really overheat. It's time to really overheat because we got to go fast like Sonic. Got to go fast like Sonic. Dude, this is going to be insane. Insane. Insane in the membrane. Got insane. Got no brain. Ship released. Departure Whoa. authorized. 
a little bit of drift there. Good. Oh, ready? Chill, just chill. Uh, we need to turn off cannons. Automated flight control protocol now offline. Thank flight you, control Commander. Protocol now offline. Look at that heat build up. We be running hot. Turn off all the things. Time to overheat again. It's like this is giving me an idea. We're actually doing crazy exploration with a ship nearly on fire. Because, I mean, let's be honest here. Oh, and again, I've repaired. But we're going to do like 14, 14 jumps now, right? 17 jumps. Why? What wasn't it? Oh, yeah, it was 14 jumps for systems. We went in the opposite direction. To go. That's all right. It's all right. We can do it. Charu Sector FBX B14. We're going to head back into Thargoid territory with the Clipper. And also, they're going to be adding those cannons soon. The Thargoid cannons? So it might be a good idea getting used to cannons. I'm pretty sure they're going to be in fixed variety and in turret variety. Probably not going to come as gimmicks for some strange reason. Because Aegis thinks they're these fancy technicians where they're like, oh, we just, we just do turrets. Turrets are better than gimbals. They need to understand. I want to choose when I fire. On frameshift cooldown. Boom. Let's go. This is how you jump, people. This is how you jump. Welcome to Extreme Jumping. Of course, extreme jumping is actually jumping longer distances, I guess, but... This is a form of extreme jumping, jumping on the brink of your ship catching fire. At least that's the way I choose to think of it. Who knows? Who knows? But yeah, I want to engineer this clipper. I want to make it real good. I just need to tune things up for the engineers. Have I mentioned that it is both both exciting as hell to find these stars and at the same time fucking terrifying? Warning, Rage Drive operating beyond safety limits. Cannot comply. go 42 light years as a supercharged jump almost feels like a joke particularly when I have a diamondback explorer that can jump 50 light years at a time but there's just something special about it. something special I don't get tired of flying him take this bad boy all over the galaxy Nation. Keep it up as fast as possible. Ramshift cooldown is off. Feel our destination. Let's roll. Heat levels critical. Am I gonna eventually reach beyond 200? I think that when we start getting to the plated sector, we're gonna considerably heat up our ship. Oh, dude, what if I get high predicted without a shield? Then again, our shield is a 3D shield right now, so it's whatever. Who cares? Doesn't really make a big difference. Have we actually taken module damage? Heat level is critical. Oh, well, sorry, but we're going to heat right back up. As I was saying, did any of our modules take damage yet? Oh, yeah, we're burning up. They're crispy. These are crispy modules, so this is not... Uh, how should I put it? This is not an acceptable way to do exploration. 
You're gonna burn up your modules. Look at them go. Look at them fry. Like bacon. Bacon modules is what you get. But we're never really going above 130, which is not really that dangerous territory, if I'm being really honest. Because, like, like I said, earlier today, I was at 350. And I was still doing fine, so... I don't think it's a big deal. So basically, if you're in a hurry and you're going to systems around the bubble, it's okay to overheat your ship. You're gonna fuck up a couple of modules. Just make sure that you have AFM and turn off all non-essentials. And you're okay overheating your ship. Like, this is fine. As a matter of fact, I would even say that my current fuel scoop is a little bit overkill for me. Well, look at that. We're gonna heat it up now. 130. We're gonna break 140, 140, 145, 150, 155, almost 160, 162. That's what I'm talking about. Now here's the thing. We're not slowing down. We stop for nothing. We stop for nothing. We don't even break for rainbows right now. Except for those neutron stars. We have to slow down a little bit on the pictures. Yeah! Double sun system. Let's go. That's right, we stopped for nothing. Did I actually get the scan? I think I scanned. 150, 160. Cargo hatch malfunction, 179. 183, 186. Yeah, buddy, we're stopping for nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna blow up my ship from overheating. Our hull's actually taking damage right there. We're at 98%. We're not stopping. Like I said, we are not stopping for anything unless we have to stop because there's a neutron star on the way. Like, nope. It's a race. Don't worry about it. I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure we'll survive. Frame shift drive. Let's go. 145, 150, 152, 57, 60. Cargo hatch malfunctioned again. 180. 191. 200, 206, 211, 215, them hot jumps, hot jumps, 93% <laughs> hull, I want to check on my modules, I'm pretty sure they're fucked up, pretty sure the modules are pretty fucked up, it's okay though, we're gonna keep heating it up, this is a hot stream, hot jumps, oh god, this is so bad, there we go, there we go, all integrity compromised. It's all good. Frame shift cooldown's about to come off. 177. Boom! Here we go. Got places to go, people to see. 200. 212. We're still rolling, people. How's our modules doing? 50% on the shield generator. It's not even on! It's not even on! Why is it overheating? How can that module be? like my you could boil an egg on my ship not even boil you could fry an egg on my ship right now you could fry some bacon too 81% how hot are these stars I don't think they're particularly hot luckily enough module malfunction looks like this is gonna cool us down a little bit not by choice Ooh, frame shift drive broken <laughs> Frameshift drive's fucking busted. Where's that frameshift drive? It's at 73%! What's the big deal? It's at 73 It's fine! It's not a problem at all! I don't know why the frameshift drive's all like that. Come on, it's fine. Just wait till we get to this next star. It's gonna be great. Oh yeah, this is a big one. This is a big one, boys. Oh, this one's gonna fry our systems good. It's gonna fry them good. Frame shift. Let's go. 60, 70, 82, 84, 87, 92. Breaking 100. 111, 114, 116, 118, 21, 26. Now we're good. We're good. We Gucci. We Gucci up in here. I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be arriving at Alcazar's Hope with half a ship. Like, the ship's gonna be just like all kinds of messed up. I actually wanna look at the paint job when we reach there. 
I expect to see like boils on the paint and stuff. That'd be cool. We're not taking heat damage. Shut up with this nonsense. I'm just curious to see if the ship's gonna make it. Bear in mind, we have not stopped for anything. Like every single time, as soon as the cooldown is up, we are frame shifting. Still doing good. The madness has finally taken over. No, I just decided I wanted to test. Because like, Paven B, what happened earlier today was I was stuck in a neutron star and I actually made it out. But when I got out, my ship was at 350% and I was still alive. And now I'm just like, well, this is okay. Do you actually lose like jumping range because of this, I wonder? I'm curious. You don't, you don't lose jumping range. Who cares? Even the, the audio from the ship can't handle it anymore. 108, 111, come on, here we go. 120, 128, 130. Oh, frame shift broken. Frame shift drive fucking broken. The frame shift drive is fucking busted. It's not working properly. It's only at 72%. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. And yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna come out of frame shift just like that. Turn it on. Is it on? Repair. Boom! We'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Is it repairing? Repair it. Fix my frame shift. Good God. This thing takes way too long. My cargo hatch all busted. Is my inventory still here? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had a couple of items in there. They're gone. It was power play things. I had them in there. I had like 15 tons of power play things. They're gone now. Jesus, this thing takes a long time. But ultimately, this isn't worth it. Like, I was curious, and now we've done it. And I was curious to know whether or not it was worth it to overheat uh, for the purpose of speed. It is not worth it because now I have to sit around and wait for the frame shift drive to fix itself. Or for the auto field maintenance unit to fix the frame shift drive. I guess I'll just take a year to get to the next system. How many more jumps it is? Five. So it'll take us about ten year, five years to get to Morocco. Okay? We just got to point the ship in this general direction. And five years we'll be there. Yeah, I'm just going to leave my console running for five years until we get to the world. Then again, maybe not. Maybe I'll just fix my frame shift drive, which is about to be ready. Turn it back on and jump away. Maybe that's what we'll do. Unfortunately, the auto field maintenance unit can't repair itself. Then again, it would be a waste of... Module repaired. Uh, activate it. And by the way, I know that you're supposed to come out of Super Cruise before doing that, but my, my ship's all messed up anyway. Figured I'd do it. There we go. Frame shift drive at 100%. 100%, ladies and gentlemen. We've got five more jumps. Five more hot jumps. Dude, Priscilla is one tough cookie, dude. Ain't nobody killing Priscilla. He is one tough cookie. Shift cooldown coming off and boost it. But yeah, it's definitely not worth it to do this. Like, you can do it if you're really in a hurry. Just be aware that at like below 80%, your frame shift drive just randomly cancels itself out. 
which makes this method not worth it. That kind of sucks. I wish that wasn't the case. Ooh, God. We might just blow up this ship with this one. This one might be the big one, boys. This one might be the big one. Oh, God. Let's turn it this way. My feet are getting cold. There we go. That'll do it. <laughs> 130! 140! Oh my god, if there's another star like that on the other side, things are not gonna go well. 166! Warning, heat damage detected. Your ship's on fire. Bad things are taking place. All integrity is fine. It's all good. I just need fuel, man. Let's go. Charge her up. 147. Woo! 149. Now lowering because we're moving away from the star. I mean, I'm not doing this purposefully. I'm trying to get to each location as fast as I possibly can. Complete and utter madness. We're fine. And Marope, one jump away. So we made it. We basically made it. Even with the crazy overheat on jumps and stuff, we still made it through. Which is not that bad. It's not that bad. It kind of does suck that... I mean, we didn't have to stop, but I didn't want the frame shift to just like randomly be turning off in between jumps. So, even though it's not that bad, I would also argue that it hasn't saved us that much time because of the frame shift beginning to malfunction. And that essentially is what breaks this. So, there we go. In science. Overheating your frame shift drive in favor of faster jumps? Not worth it. And now I know. I was wondering. Completely broke our cargo hatch, too. Lost our cargo. Advanced discovery scanner was at 26%. Jesus Christ. That's crazy. Oh, let's turn everything back on. I mean, I'd love to turn the cargo pack back on, but it's fucking broken. I was trying to repair the cargo hatch, but the auto field maintenance unit is fucking broken too. <laughs> Shit's so It's all good. As a matter of fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the auto field maintenance repair to repair as many things as possible, and then I'm gonna sell it. Because <clears throat> I don't need the auto field maintenance. Usually not. Didn't I turn on my power distributor? What's going on here? Why is it inactive? Turn it back on. Did you fix my fucking cargo hatch? No, you didn't. Fix my things. Auto field maintenance unit. I don't. I don't even think it's got enough to fix my cargo hatch. I think it'll break before it fixes my cargo hatch. <laughs> Gonna have to get rid of this 3D shield actually hit my, my ship out once we get to Alcazar's Hope. I got my two pulse lasers and I'll eventually be doing some um, actually I might do some right now to test out the cannons see how they work out. I'm curious to see if the cannons actually work out for my um, build. Are you Thargoids? Yep. The Thargoids. There's no Thargoids there. Alcazar's hope. 
We might be able to get a couple of minerals. Module repaired. Nice. We fix that. How about he fix my thrusters? Oh no! Idiot! 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 What is wrong with me? God damn it! Don't fix my fucking thrusters. See that one? I forgot. There. Why don't you fix my shield? Yeah, Rurikan, why don't you fix your thrusters while you're in Super Cruise? I'm sure that'll work out. I'm sure that that's a good idea. Worst part is I didn't even I didn't even click the fix thing. I clicked the turn it off. I turned off my thrusters, which is even worse than trying to repair them. Like, what was I thinking? Are the cannons gimbal? They have to be. <clears throat> Because of the position they occupy on the ship. Like, this is the ship. Cannons are here. Here? And that little uh, white, white light here, this is the cannon. And here is another cannon. So if I have them fixed, basically if a target stands dead center in front of me, I can't hit it. My other weapons are here. And there. So, it's pretty bad all around. <clears throat> the other weapons are not on the bottom, though. They're on the top. On these. Which actually makes me wonder, what exactly... What exactly is down here? What is this for? This is not working. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I guess, theoretically, this ship was supposed to have more heart points, but then they were like, nah, that's, that's too fucking overpowered. So yeah, the cannons are gimbaled. <clears throat> they're gimbaled, they're overcharged, and they're gonna fuck some people up. Hopefully. Hopefully. Because they got explosive rounds in them and stuff. And the other thing is, even if the cannons don't work out too well, it's okay, because my pulse lasers would still be able to dish out some serious deeps. Serious deeps. They dish out the deeps. I don't know why, but it hasn't been marking red messages properly. Look at this. These should all be red. Then I... It says five. It's in boxes. It's fucking busted, man. My shield fixed yet? Fix my shield? Why didn't you fix my shield? Fix my shield, goddammit. Why do I have to tell you twice? Don't make me ask you again. Kill me. Alcazar's hope. I actually thought I was wanted here. Apparently I was. Weapons fire detected. Argoid Barnacle. I'll take Alcazar. I don't want Barnacle. No Barnacles. That's a uh, hold on the Barnacle. Orbital flight engaged. Orbital flight engaged. God, we might have uh, gotten a little bit too eager here. That's what I get for being used to bigger planets. Mo 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 module repaired. <clears throat> We're gonna have to turn our shields back. Turn our cargo hatch back on too. Apparently, it didn't repair it all the way. Fix my cannons. for a second there. I was like, shit, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Gutemaya, Romeo, uniform, Romeo. Gutemaya. Welcome, Commander. Please restrict your speed with the 
Restrict my speed. Do not see that I'm about to crash into the surface of this planet. thrusters were damaged. My thrusters weren't damaged. I could have salvaged that landing. I could have totally salvaged that. But unfortunately, our thrusters were damaged. Hey, bro. Can I still fix my stuff using the field maintenance unit? Yeah, I can. Good. Uh, no, actually, no. Oh. Oh, well. Okay. Sell that thing, and then repair everything else. What about the long-range Dirty Rat tactics? Well, Paven B, I wanted to do that, but I've been particularly unlucky with one engineering material, and that is modified consumer firmware. And basically, without that, I can't do the long-range tactic. I mean, I might be able to if I unlock the other uh, scientist that I'm looking, the other engineer that I'm looking for, but I haven't unlocked them yet, so. Moot point. Go ahead, sell this fuel scoop. We don't need it. Sell this. We don't need it either. Get a shield! Shit. I did not send my shield to the bubble, did I? Did I sell my shield? I must have sold my shield by mistake. Fuck! This is a serious problem. A serious problem. I sold my shield. Oh no, I have a shield here. Oh wait, don't sell it. What the f That's impossible. I would have never sold one. There we go. I mean, it's only got tiers this even. Oh, it's actually got thermal resistance tier 3. Not bad. Thermal resistance tier 3. My 6A fuel scoop. Rests history. Fuel scoop might be a little bit over. Oh god, I just reminded myself. I rid of all my... Transform me lasers. This one's got scramble spectrum. This one just has rapid fire. This one just deals a ton of damage. Okay. We got good pulse lasers, we got cannons, we have no utility mounts. Have utility mount? Oh, we got chaff launch. That's that. That's all you got. Not really a whole lot. Chaff launch. Actually, I don't even like chaff launchers here. Option. Well, it's alright. Here we'll put the point defense. Here we'll put the shield. Modules. Me modules. Pulse laser. Cannon. Actually, no. Okay, this works. Do you have... I don't think you have shield cell banks. Because I could use shield cell banks. Shield cell banks would be nice. No, you got, you got shield generators and module reinforcements and hull reinforcements, but you ain't got... You ain't got shield cell banks, which this ship could actually use. So we are running tremendously low on, uh, tremendously on the low side of our power capacity. I 
I could put a 4A fuel scoop in here instead of the 6, and then I can have a shield cell bank in there. Basically, when the, my shields go down, the ship is not going to fly for too long. As, oh, the shield. The shield is heavy. Can you make lightweight shields? Can you make shields be lightweight? That'd be great, but I don't think you can. Shield generator. Elviramar Took. Enhanced low power, kinetic resistance reinforcements. Nope, you can't. You can't. You can't do it, cotton. This is as much as she'll do. Damn shame. It's a damn shame. Still, I would very much like to test out our firepower. But this ship isn't really properly pitted for a fight because we don't have shield cell bombs. Or shield boosters. <laughs> Look how fast she goes though. Look at that. Dirty drives, level five, man. They'll do that. Five fifty. Interestingly enough, my my orca can keep up with her. My orca can also boost five fifty. Oh with light my armor. Whereas this one's got proper alloys. Um resource extraction site, this is low though. Is there anything bigger? R-r-bigger. My mind. R-r-bigger. My mind. Well, let's try this low. Just to see how much... How much pain we can inflict with our cannons. We must fire the cannons! The pulse lasers are beasts. I already know the pulse lasers are a beast. What we need now is the cannons. Portuguese? How's that supposed to be? Got those rings, gotta be careful we can smash into them. Don't smash into the rings, Captain. That's not gonna work. I just hope these cannons work. That's all I hope. That's all I really want. Bottoms up. I just went through this one because it's the closest one. Because ideally, I'd rather go to a hazard. Okay, what do we got here? Wow, we got two whole targets. Ooh, a python. Please be wanted, please be wanted. Yes! Ant Hill Mon. Oh, 
shit. That sucks. Hey, bro. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you like ramen? I like ramen. Oh, he's only got cannons? Okay. Boom. Did that hit? Not sure if that hit. What? One of my cannons is deactivated. God damn it. You gotta be shitty. Sitting here trying to figure out whether or not this shit works. The cannons just like, sorry, sir, not working right now. A thing. That was one hit. Is that 59? Let's try to get a double hit in here. I like the sound. That's for sure. Take it. Take it. Not dealing that much damage. I, I got it. But it will fuck up the module, so there's that. I mean, that wasn't particularly impressive. It wasn't particularly. Also, there was a police around and everything. Fucking police. Why they gotta be fucking up our fun? You know what I'm saying? I think there's a couple of people fighting. Unless that's a mine. Oh, that's probably a mine. Here. Are there more ships? I spy with my little eye. I'm about to crash. Me. Yep. Cobra. Mining vessel. Also a mining vessel. Seriously? Nobody else? This is really, really bad. Well, I want to test out my cannons. I gotta say, they were a little bit. He's not even moving. Do we fuck him up? <gasps> I took a couple of shots at it, and it doesn't have a power plant anymore. <laughs> so, uh... buddy hey there commander oh this ship is empty must be piloted by AIs 
Hey there, Commander. Looks like you um, you had a nasty little accident there, didn't you? You don't have a power plant anymore. You can't really do anything. Oh, shoot. They're firing. Oh, they gotta kill you. What's this? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Big anaconda. That's what I'm talking about. Give me, give me your, give me your power plant. Bonk. <laughs> How you doing, bro? Did that hurt? Jesus Christ, these cannons destroy. Yeah, she's dead. She's dead. It's over. It's like, forget about that shit. <laughs> yep, you're dead. You're dead as fuck. Wait, let me practice my ramming. Booyah! Wow, he actually didn't take that much damage. That was very disappointing. It blow up though. There's that. High density composites, shields, galvanizing, proto. So yeah, uh, these are really good at destroying modules, which is what I had heard from, but I just didn't know how good, particularly if you put high yield shells in. So I actually want to kit myself out a little bit more, because right now, I mean, we don't have utilities, we don't have a bunch of our modules for combat. I want to test these out, and also the enemies we're fighting, they're like harmless ranks, so it's whatever. I want to take this bad boy into a hazardous. How's our ammunition after that, by the way? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming we can craft an ammo. We got 85 shots left. Uh, what do you need to craft? All caliber explosives it would be a large caliber. A nickel, carbon, and sulfur. Of which we have plenty, so I can just resupply off of these things. And I can always get more of these. Th these are fairly easy to get. So I can just go into a res spot with reloads and just have at it. But we also have to remember that my cannons are only tier 2 at this point. So they can still get even better. You know what I'm saying? They can get even better. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it. I was testing out the efficiency of jumping whilst nearly burning your ship down. Would not advise it. Doesn't really save you as much time as I would like it would. And we've been engineering our clipper even more. Right now, we got Dirty Drives 5. So she goes fast. She goes fast. Next thing I want to do is I want to engineer the hull to be even lighter so that we can jump more with her while still having reactor armor composite. Um, and yeah, Clipper still remains my favorite ship in the game. Or we're working towards the cutter. Matter of fact, if we go to the rank here, you guys can see that I'm 97% of all. I gotta get, I just gotta get that next rank and I gotta grind that bitch out. I gotta grind that bitch out. It's just, it's a pain in the ass and I don't feel like doing it. But either way, uh, that is gonna be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button. It helps out a lot. Or subscribe if you are new here so that you're always notified when the next video or live stream is up on the channel be back tomorrow with more live stream things uh, i'm trying to plan on doing another long trip on sunday so that could be something that we do on elite dangerous we might do a long trip on sunday uh, and i might do it on youtube as well um but we're probably going to do it on an orca if we end up doing it. That's something that I'm planning. Uh, the long trip is something that I think a lot of people haven't seen on YouTube yet because I did it on Twitch last time. So, yeah, I'm considering doing another one of those even longer this time, though. But we'll see how that works out. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the stuffs. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.